Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Extend Script Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be going over different programs that you can write scripts with. I'm going to keep this short and simple and to the point, and we're just going to be going over different free and paid programs that you can use to write scripts. But in reality, you can literally use any text editing program to write scripts. You'll just be limited in some cases to not have access to documentation, uh, automatic code filling in, and a bunch of other useful features. So a lot of you know that I use Extend Script myself for most of my scripting because it's built by Adobe, it has a lot of built-in useful things like the data browser, and it has direct linkage to the programs, and a bunch of other cool features. But basically, this will only work on your computer if you have something that will support 32-bit applications. Um, if you have the newest version of Mac, Catalina, and some other OSs, then ExtendScript actually will no longer be compatible. If you look at your Mac and you upgrade it, when you have ExtendScript installed, you'll see that it will then be sort of not accessible because it uses an older architecture that uh, is no longer supported. But in my opinion, uh, ExtendScript is the best and most detailed uh, text editor you can use to write scripts because it does have things like uh, lots of documentation, a direct access to any of the Adobe programs you have installed in your computer, and a lot of other things that make learning and producing scripts a lot easier. All of the links to the programs today as well will be in the link in the description down below in GitHub inside of a text document, but you can download ExtendScript if your computer does support it from the link um, from adobe.com slash devnet slash scripting. And you can go down here and download ExtendScript Toolkit 3.5 and you can get it on Mac and Windows, but again, if you have a newest version of Mac or a newer version of Windows that doesn't support 32-bit applications, uh, you're going to find that you cannot use it. And it looks like here you can actually get really old versions of ExtendScript that are supported by Adobe CS3. And if you think back, that's like 2007, 2008. So you can still go back and get some old versions. And again, just to briefly mention, um, if you're not already familiar with ExtendScript, it allows you to easily link to programs you have installed. It will automatically detect which uh, Adobe programs and versions you have installed, where you can immediately uh, establish a link between them run the script directly in the program and quickly see um, what you've written in terms of code, how it functions, and what you need to fix. Another option is Visual Studio Code, an option for Mac, Windows, and I believe Linux as well. It looks like it runs on some Ubuntu and other uh, versions of Linux. And essentially, this is another useful application more than just for scripting, but it's a dedicated code editor that will allow you to use scripts and have them highlighted and do a few other debugging things that aren't available in more simple programs. So there are a lot of people trying to add support for scripting and development in of Visual Studio Code. Me personally, I have the ExtendScript debugger, which is the sort of main thing that allows you to script more easily in Microsoft Visual Studio Code. And you can see here the full list of uh, supported and unsupported features. There's a lot of interesting things like, of course, you can add breakpoints to stop during certain bits of code to see what's going on. Um, it supports local scope and global scope variables, modification of variables while you're running the script. So you can sort of pause it, check the value, and make sure everything is running smoothly. There's also debugging commands and a few other useful things like exporting to JSX bin. And unfortunately, unsupported with this program is o Object Model Viewer, which essentially allows you to automatically load up all of the information about any program, the script UI, and other JavaScript classes built into ExtendScript or the scripting language. It also doesn't support script panels as well as certain functions and auto-completing code uh, that is standard to JavaScript Extended. But some people do prefer using Visual Studio and that sort of thing for coding, and I can see how because it has a nice UI, uh, it's very fast, it has nice code syntax highlighting, and it does look very nice in terms of visuals. Compared to ExtendScript, which is just pure white, there's not really a dark mode. This is the darkest you can make the UI itself, and it's no longer necessarily supported. So if you have a computer that's unable to run something like ExtendScript because it's newer, this may be the way to go for you. And then you'll have to have an extra supplement of learning resources like documents and tutorials in order to learn the things that you can't necessarily access as easily inside of this program compared to ExtendScript. And now we're going to get into the much more cheap but still usable programs that I've actually found myself using before to edit scripts on the fly when I didn't have access to any 
larger applications. So if you're on a Windows computer, you have Notepad, of course, built into your computer, and you can go ahead and load it up and write scripts just as you normally would um, inside of Extend Script or Visual Studio Code. Of course, you're not gonna get any of the syntax highlighting that you get in the other two programs, but you can still write code in any simple uh, text editing program as long as it allows you to write text, edit text, and save a file. So I know it sounds a little bit crazy to be recommending a notepad and in a second text edit for Mac, but in some cases this may be all you have access to in the future as ExtendScript is further phased out and Microsoft Visual Studio Code may not be accessible to some even though it is pretty useful. Some people prefer not to use it. Uh, you can use something as simple as notepad or text edit on your Mac. And with that being said, of course, you can use text edit on your Mac. Same thing, you're not going to have access to syntax highlighting, but as long as you can save, write text, and save the file afterward as a JSX file, you'll be able to still run the script inside of whatever prospective program you're using it for, and then do testing within the program itself, albeit in a little bit more complicated of a way. There's obviously no way to set up breakpoints, but with something, when you're limited to something like this, You'll have to use things like alerts in order to understand how far the code is getting when you're having issues. It's sort of a last resort, but these programs are usable. Another program that I used to use quite a bit for coding when I first started probably 8 to 10 years ago is Notepad++, which is something more for beginners who are just learning how to use multiple types of programming languages. I used to use it for C++ and uh, HTML development but you can use it for scripting as well because it supports JavaScript, and it will have a more simplified syntax highlighting than, say, ExtendScript or Visual Studio Code. However, this will still allow you to have more customization, and you can actually change the uh, color scheme and a lot of the useful things inside of the program. And this is actually only, I'm pretty sure, available for Windows and not Mac, unfortunately. If you are on Mac, however, or Windows, my other favorite alternative to use besides ExtendScript is Sublime, which you can get for free or pay for it. Um, it but if you don't pay, it will give you basically pop-ups every once in a while reminding you to pay or download an update. Now, Sublime Text is really nice because it supports, again, tons of different languages, has customized syntax highlighting, uh, has nice colors, you can set up a custom theme, and of course it supports JavaScript and any of the other languages we'll need when developing scripts, extensions, and things like that. Sublime Text is available on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS, which is awesome, and I use this program for the most part and I use this program more than anything on my Mac, actually, when I'm editing scripts because my Mac is upgraded and no longer supports Extend Script. So I use this for scripting on my Mac, and I use this for most extension code on Windows. Uh, that's HTML, CSS, JavaScript, some XML. And occasionally I'll load up things like text documents and uh, scripts inside of this program just to view them and quickly have nice syntax highlighting so that way I myself can fix a script someone sends me quickly or uh, just look at the code in a nicer way. But that's gonna do it for this week's scripting quick tip tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed. Those are some programs to write scripts with, uh, whether you're on Mac, Windows, or Linux. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and hit subscribe down below, as well as hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And of course, down below, check out the link to have all of the links to download any of these applications you'd like. And down there, you can also follow us on Instagram. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.